heading home. Could be a long, slow drive here. It's not a heavy load. But those tires are probably dating to the 1960s. Not a lot of weight on them, but uh, I don't want to push my luck. Don't really want to have to change a flat tire out here in the in the wide open spaces. Oh, she's just a hammering back there probably some flat spotting going on I think one or so was sitting flat for a few years I'll get some better pictures later on when and if I get home it's uh, a co-op field king 35 foot grain auger the Field King augers were sold by Co-op. They are exactly, well, they are a brand built auger. They were marketed through the local co-ops here back in, I'm gonna say late 1970s, 1980s. I was looking for a 33 to replace the old rusty Secundiac, but uh, this one was relatively close to home decent price and uh, looks in good shape anyway I'm gonna concentrate on what I'm doing here maybe try going a little faster and it'll take the bounce out of it we have decent temperatures today we are 32 Fahrenheit the snow and ice is melting it's gonna melt a lot more as the day progresses but hopefully I'll get home before it gets too muddy. Right now the road is still frozen dry from overnight. To be continued. Still got a few trees up here in the north country. area here as you can see there's a few little hills every here and there over here on the right coming up it appears to be some swaths of uh, cereal grain of some sort that have not been combined Hoping this newer iPhone has a bit of a, a steady cam feature that will compensate for a little bit of shaking and bouncing on the road here. As we come farther south, there's less snow, it seems like. I believe this was the old McDonald Hills School. Here on the left, we have the McDonald Hill Cemetery, as the sign says. And we got incoming traffic, so. There's another historic site. way back there's another historic 
historic site. It's way back. Somebody's got some lumpy, rough summer fellow there. this one before in a few videos. This road was seriously icy last week after that packed snow. 70k was pushing your luck. You don't want to slide off this one because those ditches are steep and deep. You once get off them you're not climbing back on <coughs> without a little help from a tractor. But today they're dry. So far, it's been a pretty good trip. All this way, and I've met one semi. That's it, which is good. Looks like the Ravens must have some roadkill down there. Not too surprising here in deer country. I see on the corners here, we don't want to go slip sliding away. Seems like at a low speed, those tires hit a frequency that causes a real bounce. If I get a little faster than that, then they ride smooth. So try to maintain uh, a little more speed, I guess. I think we can safely say I made it home. I'm really curious just how condition of those wheel bearings is, whether they'll be hot. I'll check them out when I get parked here. The old 14 inch tires held air, no problem. Won't guarantee they won't be flat by tomorrow, but main thing is we got home today. So let's take a look at this thing. Yeah, the flighting's got a little bit of wear on it, but what do you expect from a 40-year-old auger? The pipe is straight. A little bit of wear in the drivetrain. Electric start, 16 horse brakes. It hasn't run in several years, so expecting it to fire right up. Cool, very cool. Built by Brandt. Obviously they're painted green for the co-op colors. about all there is to see so thanks for riding along and uh, catch you next time on the Roosty 6 channel <laughs>